Hello and welcome. With releases such as the Quest Pro and with great emphasis on using such devices for work, what is the current situation with track keyboards? Why are they needed? And why am I on my third, the Logitech MX Keys Mini? Stay tuned to find out whilst we roll that intro. First of all, what is a track keyboard? A track keyboard is one that Meta have supported by allowing software and hardware within the Quest 2 and Quest Pro to recognize it in VR and either show a relatively accurate visual representation in VR or showing the lettering and symbols, making it easier to type in both cases. With the app called Immersed VR, I found myself wanting to make it as streamlined and usable as possible. And at this current time, the Quest 2 is my headset of choice, along with a track keyboard. The keyboards will also show in the Quest 2 or Pro Home environments and are supported in Horizon workrooms. When typing, if you have hand tracking switched on, then you'll be able to see your hands as you type which I find is vital as I can't quite touch type. Meta advertise a number of different keyboards which will work in VR. The MetaQuest Pro and the MetaQuest 2 currently support a number of keyboard models, but not all track keyboards track equally. When considering my options, the Logitech K830 was ruled out very quickly as it is mainly unavailable and if you find it, then it will be pretty expensive. The Logitech K375S is by far the cheapest option at around £45 from Amazon. I will have affiliate links in the description below for all of the keyboards mentioned. The most suitable layout I found for me was the US international layout as the UK version was out of stock. The Quest 2 however only supports a handful of options so I couldn't get the exact layout in VR but it was very close and usable. It did occasionally lose tracking but as long as you're in good lighting it shouldn't have too much of a problem. This worked well in Immersed for both pass through with lettering being visually overlaid on the keys and as a visual representation in VR. In an attempt to see if I could get an exact match with the keyboard layout I moved on to the next cheapest option the Logitech MX Keys Mini. I went for the graphite colour which was around £80 on Amazon. This was clearly a very well made keyboard. I love the design and although it doesn't have the numeric keypad like the K375S, I found the portability to be more favourable for my use. Once I got it started up again though, I had a similar issue with the layout in that some of the keys still weren't showing in VR. I've raised this with Logitech and Meta who are looking into it, but this is a Meta issue, not Logitech's. Despite this, it was mostly okay, but I did have a further issue that it kept on losing its tracking slightly more often than I was willing to put up with. From looking online I found that other users reported the same thing whilst some reported a perfect experience with a different colour option. This is where it became apparent for me that despite my headset recommending to increase the light levels this wasn't the issue. With a well lit room the Graphite MX Keys Mini still had the same problem so although I didn't want to change again I decided to see if the grey and white version was any better. Luckily on arrival and from testing so far it is significantly improved so it appears for me that the lighter the keyboard the easier it is to track and the bigger the contrast between the keyboard and the surface you are working on, the better. Other options include the Logitech MX Keys Universal, which has a numeric keypad for around £85 on Amazon, the Apple Magic Keyboard for around £80, the Touch ID version for around £130, the Magic Keyboard with numeric keypad for around £107, and the Touch ID version of it with a numeric keypad for around £180. With the varied costs and experiences, what would I recommend? Well, if you have the Quest 2, then a track keyboard is the best way I have found for typing in VR. And for the price, I can highly recommend the Logitech MX Keys Mini in the colour called Pale Grey. The Logitech K375S is worth trying if you need something cheaper. If you have the Quest Pro and use the app Immersed, then I would see how you get on with the colour pass-through and if you find that sufficient quality for seeing your keyboard. At the moment, the Pico devices do not support track keyboards. I don't, however, see track keyboards as the thing of the future. With the colour pass-through on the Pico 4 being as good as it is, it is good enough for seeing and using your keyboard in VR. The software needs to be developed, however. The Immersed VR app is imminently coming to the Pico 4, but there has apparently been an issue with the pass-through and details passed across from Pico, so we'll have to wait and see what it's like when it's released. This won't solve the issue with using the keyboard in the home environment or with other apps however. Hopefully in time the software will allow for bringing a desk into VR with pass-through or creating a pass-through portal which will allow you to see and use a keyboard regardless of the app. Let's keep up the hope. So do you use any particular app for working or what has your solution been for using a keyboard in VR? Let me know in the comments below, like and subscribe for more content if this has been useful and once again thanks for watching.